there! Willkommen im Zoom großartig sind Gummiverbrennungsereignis des ganzen Universums! This is the sixth running of the world's greatest drag race. This year, the competition is tougher than ever. However, I think I'm driving the winner. This is the all new Acura NSX. And in addition to all wheel drive, I've got three, count them, one, two, three electric motors. What's good about an electric motor in a drag race? Instant torque. The second I hit the gas pedal, I get all that torque at zero RPM. And then the high horsepower gasoline engine takes over. Plus, I've got a quick shifting dual clutch transmission. However, there are 11 other cars that think they have a shot at crossing that finish line first. Let's meet the competition. Wearing a creamsicle inspired paint job, it's the Aston Martin V12 Vantage S with its funny shifter. There's the impressive handling Chevy Camaro 1LE. There's an eye searing yellow Shelby Mustang GT 350R. Ah, the great looking water injected BMW M4 DTS. The Track Day Champ, the Dodge Viper ACR. This has to be the best looking Porsche of all time. A Miami Blue. Carrera S. Here's the most powerful Jaguar of all time, the F-Type SVR. The return of the Jewish Racing Gold AMG GTS. Godzilla makes another appearance. There's the impressively powerful and ridiculously light McLaren 570S. And here's the Teutonic Stud, the Audi R8 V10 Plus. And none of them stand a chance. What he doesn't know is that I've gone to the office and stolen his long-term Dodge Charger Hellcat. I'm gonna use it in the race. Sup, bro? Hey, Johnny. What are you driving? NSX. Cool. Yeah, you? <coughs> Hellcat. The what? <coughs> Hellcat. My Hellcat? Mm -hmm. That's not part of Best Driver's Car. It has more horsepower and torque than anything here, though. That's a good point. Only problem is that we got 12 guys dressed like this uh -huh. and 13 cars. Uh -huh. So I suggest we just cut the slowest one here, that being your Aston Martin. Mm -hmm. Why are you smiling? <laughs> I just put tires on the Hellcat. I'd like two weeks out of them, okay? Two minutes? Maybe. Okay, so the 707 horsepower Hellcat might have the most power here, but it's a big heavy sedan. There's another car with almost as much horsepower, the Viper ACR. It has just 650 horsepower, but it weighs 1151 fewer pounds. With a manual transmission, long gearing, and really sticky tires, the Viper is a tricky car to launch properly. Get it right, and you're in store for a 3.3 second run to 60 miles an hour. However, at higher speeds, that big wing creates a lot of drag and that slows it down. The McLaren doesn't have to deal with that. And thanks to its computer controlled launch control, it's a whole lot easier to get off the line. Fortunately, it gives up 100 horsepower to the Viper. Then again, the 570S is the lightest car here. And then there's the Audi. The R8 is 500 pounds heavier than the McLaren, but it has all wheel drive to rocket off the line. Plus, its naturally aspirated V10 screams to 9,000 RPM, and its dual clutch is one of the quickest shifting transmissions on the planet. 
Will that be enough to edge out the rest of these horsepower riddled cars? Hang on and find out. Nothing really for me to do. I'll just sit in my air conditioned seat, put it in drive, and fight wheel spin the entire way down the runway because this is a big, stupid sedan with 707 horsepower. He stands no chance in that Hellcat against this, the NSX. And if I mentioned how easy it is to launch this Acura, super easy. All right, five, four, three, two. I kicked the stuffing out of Jason and the Hellcat. 707 horsepower, and I finished at the back of the pack. Vietnamese coffee, who knew? It's all over pretty quickly when you have cars this fast. The NSX's electric motors gave it a jump off the line, but the Audi blows right by it on its way to a 2.6 second zero to 60. And the Audi stays in the lead the whole way, crossing the quarter mile marker after just 10.6 seconds. If we kept going, the R8 would get passed by the McLaren, which is less than a car length behind, but traveling almost two miles an hour quicker. 101 feet and six tenths behind the Audi is Godzilla itself, the Nissan GTR, which crosses the line just 16 feet before Johnny and his NSX. That's right, Johnny, hope you're enjoying fourth place. Next up, the Mercedes AMG GTS, followed closely by the Jaguar F-Type SVR. Oh, but if you think the Viper's up next, you're wrong. It's that insanely overachieving Porsche 911, pulling an 11.5 at 120 miles an hour. The Viper is 12 feet behind the Porsche. And then, four tenths of a second later, here I come in a big, heavy Hellcat, which didn't win, but it did spin its tires long enough to beat the M4 GTS by two car lengths. The Mustang Shelby GT350R was right behind the Bimmer. And then, in dead last place, is the Chevy Camaro SS 1LE. That's right, the slowest car in this group runs a 12.4 at 114.2 miles an hour, or in other words, zero to jail in 10 seconds or less. It's a good thing we're on a closed course. 